Here you can see the circle on the left is only moving 90 degrees compared to the one on the right doing approximately 170 degrees. Here you can see the two sketches I'm using. The one on the left here is for the Arduino Nano and the one on the right is for the Raspberry Pi Pico. The Arduino Nano example is this one here which is built in sweep. You can see the board manager I have Arduino Nano selected and the old bootloader because I'm using a Chinese clone. At the moment the board is not plugged in but when it's plugged in it will be on a certain COM port. The only difference between the sketches on the Arduino Nano I've got the servo attached to pin 4 and on the Raspberry Pi Pico I've got it attached to pin 15. The four loops are the same there is only a slight difference between the dates and that is the only differences in the code. In the Raspberry Pi Pico version we are using this example which can be found here servo bracket RP2040 sweep. We are also using the Raspberry Pi RP20 board 2.4.0 to select the Raspberry Pi Pico. To use the Raspberry Pi Pico on the Arduino IDE, you first need to download a file from the GitHub site. And the site you need is this one, Earl Phil Howers. Arduino Pico. I will link the GitHub page into the video afterwards. You will need to copy this file here or this link and follow his instructions on how to add it to the preferences within the Arduino IDE. I will just show you where to look for this. So in preferences you come down to here and you'll see I have two links. One is for the ESP32 the lower one is for Earl's board manager for the Raspberry Pi Pico. Once you've got that installed the other part I have ticked in is for show the boss output dump, which I use to demonstrate down here which library. Once you click OK, you will then have access to use Earl's board manager. The only differences you will notice is when you compile the sketch, down here I've got VBOSS turned on, so I see when it's compiling this you will see multiple libraries were found for servo.h. On, on the Arduino Nano, I am using this version of servo.h, version 1.1.8. In the Raspberry Pi version, I'm using this version of servo.h, which is 1.0.0, and that makes a large difference to how the servo responds. During the video you notice that the Arduino was allowing the servo to move approximately 170 degrees and the Raspberry Pi Pico was giving us approximately 90 degrees of movement even though in the sketches it should you would have thought giving you 180 degrees. After a lot of head scratching, I decided to contact Earl through GitHub. So on the issues pages, I raised this question about why I couldn't get it to work the way I expected it to, which he promptly replied, explaining what I needed to change to get it to give me more movement. This is a safety 
feature that he has added so that you don't damage the servos. He pointed me to this link here, which takes me to the Arduino reference pages. And the difference you must see is down here. The standard Arduino servo.h has default values for these minimum and maximum pulse to get the 0 and 180 degrees and the angle defaults to 544 and maximum defaults to 2400. In Earl's library the defaults have been set for the minimum to be 1000 and the maximum default value is set to 2000 and this is why we don't get the full movement in the Raspberry Pi Pico version. So to get the full movement in the Raspberry Pi version as you get in the Arduino version we need to add a few items into here. So we need to set the minimum value which we will set as 540 and we'll set the maximum value to 2400. This is the same as in the default Arduino.h library. This will now give us the same amount of movements for the servo. You may find that you need to alter these two values to suit your particular servo to give you the sweep angles you want. So that is what was causing me the problem for the last few days. With the new sketch uploaded you can see now that both servos are giving about the same degrees of movement which is what I was hoping for. So hopefully this will help people who want to do similar things using a Raspberry Pi Pico with Servo.h.